White flag is raised, and that off. Eight runners over two and a half miles in the featured fourth race, the Lawlers of Nace. Great one over hurdle of 100,000 euro. Hurdles one and two are omitted. They're the two in the home straight, and over the first flight they go. It's Champ Kylie in front of Kalanisi Star, followed by Dawn Rising, the white cap in third, the Irish Point. Grange Clear West, red, white, and blue in mid division alongside in the start cap, as I know the way you're thinking. Afferdale Fury on the inside of Mudbake Park, the tightly grouped approaching the second flight. Champ Kylie into it, lands with a lead of under a length from Kalanisi Star, two lengths to Irish Point, disputing third place with Dawn Rising and then Grange Clear West. I know the way you're thinking as they meet up with flight number three. Champ Kylie, the leader from Kalanisi Star, as they approach their final two miles and quite a run before they reach flight number four past the stands. It's Champ Kylie, the leader, building up a lead of three lengths over Kalanisi Star. Just in third place is Irish Point. Jordan Gainford deputising for Jack Kennedy here as they round the bend. It's all on the flat of the home straight and they're pretty well stacked up. In the lead is Champ Kiley followed by Kalanisi Star, the Grey's Irish Point, Range Clear West, tracking closely on the inside of Dawn Rising. And then I know the way you're thinking. Montbeck Park towards the near side and just the back marker is Afferdale Fury. Might have won the Monksville at Navan had he stood up. The race going to the reopposing Dawn Rising in the air. It's Champ Kiley coming round the second omitted flight in the straight, leading Kalanisi Star, the Irish Point, Dawn Rising, Grange, Clare West, the rail. Unbeaten in all three races he's contested so far. The back three are another way you're thinking. Afferdale Fury and Montbeck Park. Little changes in the order as they race the end of their first mile. It's Champ Kiley with the reduced advantage of a length and a half over Kalanisi Star, Irish Point in third, then Grange Clare West. Upsides, it's Dawn Rising and then Montbeck Park, I know the way you're thinking. Two wins have both held, two runs have both had wins, I know the way you're thinking. As they enter their final mile and a half, they're going towards the fourth flight. Champ Kiley, up and over, a couple of lengths clear from Kalanisi Star. Then Irish Point, Monbeck Park's picked up a bit of ground on the outside. Getting a good trip towards the inner is Grange Clear West. And then Dawn Rising, I know the way you're thinking. And Afferdale Fury, although the back marker is very much in touch. As they've passed the halfway stage, they're going to the next flight on the far side. Champ Kiley, Danny Mullins, by less than two lengths to Kalanisi Star, Philip Enright. Grange Clare West taking closer order for Paul Townend on the inside. And then Irish Point and Jordan Gainford and Don Rise and JJ Slevin. Monday Park, Keith Dunno on the outside of another way of thinking. And Luke Dempsey and Aberdeen Fury, Brian Cooper. Making the run inside the seven furlong point with just two flights left to jump. And the Lawlers of Nace, great one novice hurdle. Still all to play for as Champ Kylie is joined by Kalanisi Star. Three parts of a length back to Irish Point, just in third place. And then Grange Clear West and Dawn Rising nudged along. Monbeck Park is two behind, I know the way you're thinking. And Afferdale Fury over the second last, with less than three quarters of a mile to go, heading for the final flight. Champ Kiley with a slender advantage over Kalanisi Star, then Irish Point. Pushed along in fourth, it's Dawn Rising. Hot on their heels is Grange Clear West as they come out over the final flight. Half a mile to go. As they work back for the approach to the straight. It's a flat finish from here on in. Champ Kiley, just the leader from Kalanisi Star. Irish point on the outside, then Grange Clear West. Under pressure in between horses is Dawn Rising. Then I know the way you're thinking. Afferdale Fury and Montbeck Park relegated to be the back marker with three furlongs to go. Champ Kiley straightens up for home, chased by Irish Point. Grange Clear West towards the inside. Followed by another way of thinking who's running on. Winking is Kalanisi Star, then Dawn Rising and Afferdale Fury. It's Champ Kylie still in front from Irish Point trying to challenge. Now being asked to try and close, but making little impact at this stage is Grange Clear West. And then I know the way of thinking, Dawn Rising and Afferdale Fury, but it's Champ Kylie still the one they've got to go and get past. Irish Point next, and then I know the way of thinking, Grange Clear West. 
and don't rising but it's champ kylie from irish point as they run up towards the finish it's champ kylie back cutting a suede over hurdles wins the lawlers of nice second is irish point the winner has made every single yard of the running then Dawn rising i know the way you're thinking disappointing in fifth grange clear west Let's quickly hear from a big race winning rider, Danny Mullins. Danny, congratulations. I'm sure you were thrilled to get back on him today. How good was Champ Kylie? Yeah, that was a very good performance. You know, the Royal Bond may be a messy race. I believe coming into the race, he could reverse the form with Irish Point, but there was a few others in there that we had to beat as well. You know, this horse gave me such a nice feel in Tipperary uh, earlier in the season. So to come back here... He'd won over 2-5 in Galway, but doing a winter ground on a tough track like Nace uh, in a grade one against winter horses, that's, uh, that's the performance I believed he could achieve, but it's easier to believe in the horse when they're across the line than beforehand it's easy to uh, hope for it, but they have to do it. True enough. You let him stride on from the word go. Were you always happy you were in control of the race? Yes, you know, I knew in Tipperary I had a turn of foot, but Paul had won them in Galway also, so stamina was there and I suppose that's a sign of a good horse and when you're winning winter grade ones you need a proper horse you can try all the tactics you like but you, you need a, a horse underneath you and you know I'm just fortunate enough that I get put up on a lot of these horses and have to get the job done every so often. A shame that the two hurdles in the straight had to be left out with the sun would it be wrong though to suggest that made any difference? I'd say it hindered me. If you go back and watch him winning in Tipperary, I took lengths out of an experienced juvenile Brazil that day. So I thought when I, we got the news at the start, I was thinking uh, they're out, but you make do with what you've got. And yeah, uh, you know, good performance. What's your feeling about what his best trip might be, Danny? That's two and a half today, obviously. That's two and a half. Last day was two. I think the race was messy the last day I got a good feel on, on livelier ground over two miles on a flat track in Tipperary which would be everything you'd say is against the horse so he still has options you wouldn't nail him down to any trip he's got huge ability that's the main asset for me with the horse and this race has been won by some really good ones over the years do you think he's going to follow in their hoof prints and go on to achieve a lot I think so you know there is some big talking horses behind him and you know, they have to keep stepping up through the season, but we're at that point of the season where all those proper ones are out. So good performance and hopefully he can keep going forward. Good man, Danny. Thanks so much. Well done. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.